Hi, this is Dr. Nick Bucher at North Seattle Community College, and in this video we're going to be discussing use of the melting point apparatus. Melting point is a very common method for determining the purity of a compound. If impurities are present in a compound, much like adding salt to ice, they tend to melt more easily. The result is that we see for impure materials a lower and broader melting point than we see with pure materials. In order to use the melting point apparatus, it was first turned it on using the switch at the lower right of the instrument. Once this instrument powers off, we must program it. We do this using the set button located top center on the display. In order to change our, our star temperature, you use the up and down arrow. You want to select a temperature that's at least 25 degrees lower than the expected melting point of your compound. So I'm going to turn this up another 5 degrees. I'm going to hold down the up button in order to scroll through the temperatures. And then I can move in increments using the up and down arrows. I've set this for a temperature of 125 degrees to start. If I hit the set button once again, it brings us to end temperature. I suggest an end temperature at least 10 degrees higher than the expected melting point of your compound. If you hit, hit the set button once again, it brings you to the ramp rate, which again, we can change up and down using the up and down arrows. This controls the rate at which our temperature is going to increase. I currently have it set up for 5 degrees a minute, which is the rate I suggest. Hitting the set button once more, as exit the program menu. We can see our current temperature as well as our program temperature. Once these temperatures match, we are ready to begin. Now that we've finished programming our instrument, we are ready to pack our sample tube. The melting point tubes can be found in a plastic sleeve like this. If you remove the lid and take out one of these very thin glass tubes, and if you look closely at it, you'll see that one end is sealed and one end is open. I have a sample here in a watch glass. What I'm going to do is take the open end of the melting point tube and just jam it into the sample several times. You'll see that the sample begins to pack into the open end of the tube. Now the problem is we don't want the sample on the open end of the tube. We want it in the closed end of the tube so it doesn't leak out. That's where this glass tube comes in. We take this with the, uh, with the sealed end down, and we drop it down the glass tube a couple times. And it does an excellent job of packing our sample at the closed end of the tube. Now one thing you might know is that we do this, we often spill a little bit of sample on the counter. So if you make any mess, if you spill any sample on the counter, I recommend using a damp paper towel to wipe up any sample that might have spilled. Our sample is now packed in the melting point tube, and we are ready to measure it. We can see that on the front of the instrument, the two temperatures match, indicating that we've reached our starting temperature, and the instrument's ready to use. We're going to take our melting point tube here, and we're going to load it into the top of the instrument. If you look at the top, you'll see three slots in which you can insert the sample. It doesn't matter which one you insert in, any one of the three is fine. In order to start the run, we hit the ramp slash cool button. We see that the lower numbers change into a five right here, indicating the, that we're ramping now at five degrees per minute. We should see, and there it goes, the upper temperature begin to change. And at this point, we want to make sure that we look into the objective and watch for the melting process. In order to tell when the compound is melting, you must look in the objective located at the top of the instrument. Under magnification, you should be able to see your melting point tube in there. Please record the temperature at which melting begins, as well as the temperature at which melting completes.
Once the melting has completed, you may hit the ramp slash cool button again in order to stop the run. You'll hear a fan turn on as the instrument begins to cool itself, so be ready to run again. You want to take your sample tube, remove it from the top of the instrument, and you'll see a plastic disposal bin for these melting point tubes. If no one else needs to use the instrument, you would now want to turn it off. If other people are waiting to use the instrument, then please leave it on. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. As always, if difficulties arise, please ask your instructor questions. This is Dr. Nick, signing off.